What's up guys, Mike here. The Detroit Borg and Apple has finally released a product red version of its iPhones. So midway through the life cycle of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, we get this brand new color. We've seen this color before on iPods and accessories, but we finally get it on the iPhone. Now very similar to Jet Black, this is only available in the two larger capacities, 128 or 256 gigs. So that means you do have to pay a bit more to get this phone because you can't get the 32 gig model. And of course we have both models to take a look at. So let's get to the unboxing. Now I'm going to start off with the 7 Plus because that's my daily driver and they make it very easy to unwrap this. Just pull the tab, remove the plastic and we're ready to go ahead and lift up the lid. So lifting up the lid, the first thing you see here won't be the phone but the paperwork. So the paperwork in this case has been tweaked for this specific model and that's because this is a product red cause, meaning that a portion of the profit from this phone goes to the product red cause and you can find out more by going to the link. Besides that, we have some pretty familiar paperwork, a quick start guide highlighting the main buttons and features of the phone, along with a SIM ejection tool. And I get this because I have a SIM unlocked phone, so there's no SIM in this phone, so at least I get a tool to install my own. Of course, we get some warranty and regulatory information along with some Apple stickers. Unfortunately, they're not red. That would have been fantastic. They're just white and they come on this clear sheet, just like the other iPhone 7 and 7 Pluses. So once we get all of that out of the way, we can get to the phone itself. Now, at first glance, it actually looks like a silver phone. That's because we have a white front and a silver Touch ID ring. But as soon as you flip it over, you get this very stunning, vibrant red color. So the more light you have on this, the more it glows. It really is stunning in person. So we can go ahead and peel off the plastic to reveal the final finish. So this is the matte finish, very similar to the other iPhones that anodize aluminum finish. This is not like the jet black glossy finish. So it should be pretty durable. The other thing you might notice right away is that the inset Apple logo is silver instead of a matching color or matching tone as we see with the other iPhones. So really the theme here is white, silver, and red. But unlike the other phones with a white bezel, the antenna lines are matched to the color of the chassis. So setting that aside really quickly, let's get to the accessories, which are all pretty familiar. We get a 5 watt power adapter, along with a set of ear pods. Also included on the back is a lightning to headphone adapter in case you forgot that this does not have a headphone jack. And lastly, very compactly tied up here is the lightning cable for charging the phone. Next up, let's dig into the 4.7 inch iPhone 7. So the packaging here is identical. It's just shrunken down to size. So I'm gonna make this fairly quick. We're gonna unwrap the box, lift up the lid, and we'll find very similar paperwork. And underneath that, we have the iPhone 7 wrapped in plastic. Unwrapping that looks just as stunning as the 7 Plus. And of course, in the box, we get all of the same accessories, just more tightly packaged. So putting these phones up for the first time, you can see the boot screen is white to reflect the white bezel. So it's not red or some other funky color here. It just reflects the color of the bezel, just like the other iPhones. In terms of software and features, there really is no difference between this and the other iPhone 7s. So if you want to see more detail about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, I'll leave my video linked below so you can check it out. In terms of this color, it's really impressive. Now this is an anodized aluminum finish, so that texture sort of reflects the color a bit differently depending on the angle or source of the light. So there is quite a bit of depth to it, and the more light you have on this, the better. So it really is kind of like a candy apple or metallic red on a car, it really shows off the curves and I like how it plays with the light. Now one of the details I really like about this design and color is the polished Apple logo. Not only does it stand out a bit more, but it also contrasts nicely with a deeper matte red finish. So that glossy finish, that mirror finish looks really impressive against this surface. Of course, this is a product red phone, so you'll find the product red branding just below the iPhone text. So taking a close look at those details, the buttons along the side are color matched to the phone. So of course, we have the power button along the right and the volume controls along the left, along with our mute switch. And as you can see, something a bit different here, instead of an orange stripe for the mute switch, we get a white stripe. That's the contrast with the red color. So along the bottom edge, we'll find the speaker, the microphone, along with a lightning connector and the screws. And they kind of pop out here because they're silver instead of matched to the color of the body like they are on some of the other iPhones. So they don't completely match the color here you can see the speaker grills are black instead of red uh, so those details have been missed in this case I'm not sure why but it does work with the design I think because we have those silver accents on the front and back and as always, the nano SIM tray is color matched to the body of the phone. There's also a gasket to keep water out. Something I'm noticing for the first time with this one is the patterns or dots at the end of it. I'm not sure what that is. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is not the first time we've seen this product red design. It's exactly identical to that of the iPod Touch product red, including the silver accents and white bezel. Now, I have noticed that the product red on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is a bit deeper than the product red color on the iPod Touch. So it seems to be a bit redder, a bit darker compared to the more orangey red of the iPod Touch, at least compared to the iPhone 7 Plus. But you do need quite a bit of light to see the difference. Now, a lot of people wanted a black bezel, and I think that would look great with a red phone, but it's also kind of intense. So, I mean, that red and black is a little more sinister. I don't think Apple particularly liked that look, and that's why you don't see it with the iPod Touch, the iPod Nano, and finally, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. This was also the same case with the gold iPhone. A lot of people wanted the black bezel. Instead, we got the white bezel, and I still think that was the right decision. But for me, I definitely like the white and red and have no complaints that it's not black. Now, in terms of what my favorite color is, I still think jet black is my favorite overall, and that's because of that glossy finish. I love the way it works with the design of the iPhone. Everything else contrasts more with the surfaces and textures and colors, but in the end, this product red version is gonna be my daily driver until they release the next iPhone, although I'm probably just gonna cover it with a case anyway. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this look at the new product red iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll see you again in the next video.